what's poppin diva gang how's everybody doing so today we're gonna be making some donut nails these are the little charms and i'm gonna show you how i made them um i've been wanting to do these nails for a real real long time it took me a real long time to figure out what i wanted to do but i'm really happy with the way that they came out and i thought i would show you all so I'm going in with some 3D sculpture gel. I got this 3D sculpture gel off of Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, it's pretty good, you know, it's a sculpture gel. Uh, so it'll be below if you're curious. But, um, so we're gonna be making like donuts and tarts and stuff like that. So that brown was a little bit too deep for me. So I mixed it with the white and I got this kind of like lighter brown color which is like more the color of like dough you know so i mixed that together in my hands i just squished it together like play-doh and now i'm just carving out my shapes to do the donut i just rolled it up into a ball and then i use a dotting tool to poke that hole in the middle and this right here that i'm doing right now is gonna be like a pop tart kind of so i just mixed it together and then i flattened it out and kind of molded it into this rectangle type of shape and then i made one more kind of little like um i don't even know what you would call this like a little little pastry i guess i just made a circle and then just flattened it out a bit now i'm going in with this model one's brown polish this is called brown side it comes in a their nude gel polish kit and i'm using that to make the icing on the donut and then I'm going in with this random, real random Beatles gel polish. It's kind of like a deep pink, like a lilac kind of color. Um, yeah, I'm going in with that on the little pastry that I created for the icing color. And it was kind of like running empty, so I had to use a smaller brush. Now I'm going in with this. Um, I think that said blue violet I, that came in like a purple like a set of different tones of purples and that was number nine It's like a real deep plum color and I'm just using that to create the icing on my pop tarts And I'm going in with all these different random colors for the sprinkles Just use every color in the rainbow doesn't matter what brand or anything like that But I'm taking all of those and I'm using a dotting tool to create little sprinkles on my donuts um make sure they're bright colors since they're going to be really small you want to make sure you know you're able to see them so just make sure they're real bright colors and then i went in again with that brown side shade and created like a little drizzle on my pastry because i created one other pastry it's like a lemon pastry and it also has a drizzle on it so i was like let me be consistent now this pop tart i forget what flavor pop tart this is but if y'all know what pop tart this is you a real one this used to be my favorite like flavor pop tart when i was a kid and i'm getting kind of hungry watching this video like looking at it like i'm remembering how it tastes anyway moving on so now we're gonna work on the bow that goes on the donut um that yellow was a little too neon for me so i mixed it with some white as well and I'm going in and creating like the middle piece, you know, like the knot in the bow. And I just made kind of like a little square shape and then I cured it for 30 seconds. Now I'm going in and making the sides of the bow. So I'm taking a little bit of that sculpture gel and thinning it out into like a little worm shape. And then I folded it in half twice. And now I'm just going in with this silicone tool that actually came with the 3D sculpture gel. So that was nice, but I'm using that to create texture and shape in my bow. And I did this exact same thing for both sides of the bow. Um, I just kept messing around with like the shape until I was satisfied with it. On that other heart-shaped donut that I made, I made the bow like separate from the donut, like off the donut. And I don't know why I did that because I had a much easier time doing this and I wish that it wasn't so hard to see because it looks real nice and just dimensional. But anyway, I'm going in with some top coat to seal all of that, um, all that gel polish in and I cured that for 60 seconds and all of our treats are done. 
It looks so cute. And we did it ourselves, girlfriend. All you need is a little bit of sculpture gel and some creativity. Okay, so now I'm going in and I'm prepping my tips. Um, I did something a little different today. I'm using the long coffin tips from EC Basket for the thumb, middle, and pinky finger. And then for the ring and index finger, I used some long stiletto tips. Um, I don't recommend these tips. They're just shaped really weird, but I just got them off Amazon. Just search up like long stiletto full cover nails and you should be able to find some nice ones. I know McCart has some nice ones, but I just went in and prepped, app applied my primer and my base coat. Now I'm going in with this, you know, I don't really know what to call this color because it's not really a mint green. It's not really, I mean, is it a turquoise? I think it's a little light to be a turquoise, but I guess we'll call it a turquoise. But I did two coats of that, carrying 30 seconds in between each coat. And now we're gonna start applying our little donut charm. So I'm going in with my fave, the McCart rhinestone glue. And I like this glue because it's in a squeezy tube and it's just real time efficient. Um so the reason why it took me so long to figure out what I want to do with this set was just because I just could not figure out like a good placement for these things. I didn't know what kind of color scheme I wanted to do. I just had a hard time like developing the story of the nails and making them all go together. Like, I don't know why that was so hard for me. Like I had a vision. This was not quite my vision, but I'm still happy with the way that it came out. I think it looks really, really cute and very like, these would be real cute for like a sweet themed photo shoot or some kind of sweet theme event. These would be real cute. But yeah, I'm going in with some multi-size bling and I'm doing kind of like a swirly design on either end of the bling. And yeah, I just kept placing the stones in different sizes around until I ended up with something like this. And you can see how it kind of swirls around the donuts. And then I went and cured that for 60 seconds and then I replaced it. So I started with that nail since it was in the middle. I knew I wanted to have the most stuff on it. And at this point I still kind of didn't know I was doing so I figured doing that would help me figure it out. But I went in with two coats of that yellow polish. Just use a bright yellow polish or whatever color you want to be honest. You can totally change up the colors of this design but I thought these would go well with my theme. Um, so I did two coats of that curing for 30 seconds between each coat. And now I'm just placing a bunch of these little sweet charms on here. Um, I had kind of a hard time figuring out the placement, but I ended up getting it together. And this is what we have. I think it came out really, really cute. Like, and that yellow behind it just makes everything kind of pop. Um, yeah, I've been seeing like sweet tooth nails and donut nails and just like real cute confectionery nails all over YouTube. And I really wanted to try my hand at it because I really do think that it's a really, really cute aesthetic, like that whole dessert thing. I think it's really, really, really cute. So yeah, um, so now I went ahead and I cured that after I got all my gems on there. And I'm going in with the pinky finger. I'm using this pink polish. Uh, any light pink polish will work fine. But I'm using that and I just went in and painted the whole nail pink and then I went in I don't really know What this is that I created this this pastry. I kind of think it could be like a cheesecake bar Or a Danish um, Yeah Yeah, I don't know but it's really cute and I really just wanted it on my pinky because it's oblong and I just felt like it looked the best on this finger and I decided to do an anti-row of the smallest size of AB crystals that I had. Um, so that's what you see me doing here. I just went all around the nail until I had that. And it's real cute, but I still felt like I needed more on that pinky nail. So I went in and I made another little one of those pastries. Um, so I just rolled up my dough, cured it, painted on my icing, cured it. Now I'm going in with my drizzle, cured that, and then I went and sealed it all in with some top coat and cured that for a whole 60 seconds, which is what I'm doing here.
and then I used my McCart rhinestone glue to place that on there and I felt a lot better about the design I felt like it looked a lot more balanced and I was really happy with where things were going at this point but I was real stuck on what to do for that pointer and um ring finger I was real stuck so I decided to just do some nice drippy nail art and I'm gonna show y'all how to make your drips look real real drippy and real 3d and just stand out okay so I went in with two coats of that brown shade that I was using earlier that brown side color and then I just stamped in some like clear glitter I think this is called diamond dust from the brand glitties I just stamped that into the inhibition layer of that brown color and then I went over it with some taco to seal it in and now I'm taking that same pink shade that I used on the pinky finger and I'm creating my drips. I'm using a dotting tool because it's nice and round and you can get that nice like drippy like wet kind of look you know without like having to worry about a brush. So that's what I did. And don't be shy here, okay? Like, you know, be generous with your gel polish because you want those drips to look nice and full and juicy and just good enough to eat. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, yeah, um, just watch the technique. And when you're connecting the drips, I recommend connecting them at like different levels just so that they can look like they're melting like at different speeds or whatever. Um, yeah, but this is coming out real nice, but it's not enough for me. I need more. I need my drips to look like real drips. So this is what we're going to do to get that 3D in your face drippy look. We're gonna take our rhinestone glue. You can use any rhinestone glue, but I like this one because like I said, it comes in the squeeze tube. And we're literally just gonna do the same thing that we did with the gel polish and the dotting tool. Just dot it upwards. And I'm squeezing the tube so that more of it comes out on the drip part and then I'm dragging it over the part where it's actually dripping. Kind of like you would use a builder gel or something to that effect. If it looks a little lumpy once you apply it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It'll settle eventually. But just look how, like, uh, the camera's not really doing it justice. But these drips are jumping, jumping out at me. And if you make a mistake like I did there, it's okay. Just go in with a clean brush and go in between your drips and just remove any glue that you need to. And... I was so surprised. I've never really seen anybody do their drips like this, but I'm like, why? It's, it's like, 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 I don't even know what word to use for it, but I feel like it's very innovative, um, you know, using that bling glue and you can use any bling glue, but like I said, I just like this one cause it is pretty firm. It's in a squeeze tube. And so I basically did the same thing with the pointer finger, but I went in with a light brown for my background color. And I went in with white for the actual drip color. Now my only gripe um, about this nail is I sized it a little too big. It's a little too big for my finger, um, but that's my fault. And another gripe that I have is when I applied my McCart Bling Glue, maybe I should have done this nail first because there were kind of like little air bubbles in my Bling Glue. Um, I think it was more apparent just because this nail is white but I mean it really didn't bother me that much you know nobody is really paying that much attention to my nails except maybe me but like I said it really didn't bother me um, and then on this one I added like that extra little drip at the bottom there because I thought it would make it look real cute and yeah I just am really happy with the way that these nails turned out um, I kept going back and forth for myself. I was like, I want to include an ombre in there some there, but I'm not true to myself if I don't do any bling. But at the same time, I don't want to do too much, but I also want to have some glitter in there. So da 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 and blah, blah, blah. And I just could not figure out what to do. And I came up with this. And like I said, I'm happy with it. I really like this nail here. Um, I really like how 
the desserts just all kind of sit together and just look edible like that. And that middle finger too with the swirly bling around the donuts, like these are just really, really, really cute to me. Um, so yeah, I went in, I cured my bling glue over the drips for 60 seconds. And now I'm going in over the rest of the nails with a top coat. And then once that was cured for 60 seconds, I just filed around the nails like I always do. I was careful though on those drip nails. I only wanted to file the ends because A, I wanted to keep the dimension in my drips and B, I just wanted the ends to be pointier. So after I cleaned everything off, this is my final results. I'm real happy with them. I think they came out so cute. This. They look like like a toy or like toys. Like they really make me want like sweets and junk food. Um, question of the day, are you a sweet or a savory person? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know what you think of the design. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.